What's up with it, friends? I had to hurry up and get out of that internet dead spot that I was sitting in. Man, friends, I got so much stuff to tell you guys. This is crazy. The story just got crazier and crazier, and it's filled with all kinds of goofy shit, crazy shit, obnoxious stuff. All right, friends. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a quick recap because I I haven't been able to tell anybody anything for days now. Okay. So, according to what I understand, Rudy was found on a Thursday morning. We didn't, like, the Hood News broke it on Saturday morning, if I'm not mistaken, right? We, 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 we've been sharing that Rudy was missing for the last couple of years since Hood News started. That was one of the first missing people stories that we ever shared. Um, so when I found out, a fake profile reached out to me and said, Rudy, Rudy's been found. I'm like, oh, that's what's up. And then other people started reaching out Grizzy. They found Rudy. I'm like, man, where's he been? So so we just, all we did was repost this Bella person stuff. And, and you know, we, we were just happy. Like, you know, yeah, it's a miracle. And where has he been? And But we're not invasive like that. We're not, we, we don't, like, I didn't want to dig deeper if I was not invited. Like, I was, I, I don't invite myself to stuff, right? So later that evening, no, two days later, so uh, Sunday, Sunday, I get a message from this Bella person and she says, hey, I'm here with Rudy and, the, and his mom in the hospital and, and uh, his mom wants to talk to you. I said, well, yeah, you know, let her reach out like the same stuff I say. And and so they messaged me like at 2 a.m. And I said, hey, I'm not going to answer that, man. Like I want to sleep at night. You know, don't message me till the next day. So we didn't talk until the, the noon the next day. That's how not thirsty I was for this because it's, I was already starting to see a lot of stuff and I wasn't anxious for it. So mom and I had some discussions and, and a lot of the, I got a lot of documentation for it, friends. Just wait, just please wait and bear with me. But things were not adding up and I was starting to see that like her Facebook profile and her don't like she was catfishing. That's, that's the only way I can say it. And, and um, I, I'm about to release video of all of this crazy shit, like little clips here and there, because I got tons of footage all day long. So, so I kind of like, I sympathize because I understand what it feels like to be talked to trash about. And I was like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be neutral. And I even said this to some of the subscribers, the people that subscribe for, you know, bonus content. And I said, you know, I'm going to stay neutral on this. I don't want to say that it's, I don't want to say nothing until I know for sure. So some stories started breaking out yesterday and that kind of, that, that does align with what I understand so far. Mom was saying that she didn't know where her son was all this time, but evidence shows different. He had her, um, her, one of her debit cards for a credit union in his pocket. He's the one that crashed her car. Rudy is a sweet, sweet, sweet person. I want to tell y'all this before I even get off into the mom. I want to tell you guys that Rudy has been manipulated or, or something's going on. Rudy has a lot of trauma. So let's, let's never lose sight of that, right? Let's never lose sight that Rudy is a victim in all of this. You know, not mom, not media, not the cops. Not the, not the DA that still don't want to press charges. Rudy is the victim here, right? Undisputedly. Even if whatever he was doing was a ruse. Okay, I'm going to get to that right now. So, so we fast forward to today. Mom said that she had a doctor's appointment, which she did not go to, I don't think. Um, she also had to talk to investigators. So she wasn't really sure where to go. And I and I said, well, if they're going to question you guys at the thing, I'm like, what? Well, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm here. Like we, I told her I was going to meet with her and it was 730 that we were supposed to meet up and she did not meet up with me. She, she sold out on that, on, on meeting up with me. She says she overslept and I'm like, man, this lady, this lady is in fear of what's to come. I already knew that I could feel her, her, her terror to face the truth or whatever was coming. She was fearing today. So, so somebody says, Grizzy, do you know she claimed to be you when somebody contacted the number for the missing post for Gabriel? No, friends. I don't know anything about that. I'm so sorry. I did pick up a, a non-caller ID number. 
I did pick up her phone one time to answer. And I said, yeah, this is Grizzy. And that bitch hung up. So, yeah, that was probably me. I picked up her phone because one thing for sure is that Janie has been receiving threats and random no caller ID calls. They've been calling her phone left and right. That's without a doubt. So on one of the times I picked up, I said, no, 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 no. I said, let me get it because the detectives have been calling from a no caller ID number two. So when it was no caller ID, I said, it might be a detective. So uh, let me pick it up because I want to, I want to hurry up and get home eventually. I don't want to be doing this all day. So I picked up the phone. I said, hello. They're like, is this Jane? I said, no. And then they hung up. I didn't say it was Grizzly. No, I, I think I did say it was Grizzly. And they hung up. So the, yes, that was me. Then the second caller, that no caller ID, was actually the detective. And by then she was in the restroom. And I said, yeah, we're here. We're at the Holiday Inn. We're here. Uh, we're waiting for you guys. Let me give you the address. And I gave them the address. And that's it. That's the two times I picked up their phone. From what I understand, there's a GoFund. Somebody's throwing out a cash app with my name on it, but it goes to her. Friends, my 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 cash app is dollar sign grizzy two eight one, and I ain't asking nobody for nothing. I'm not at, it, like if it doesn't come out my mouth during a live video, or y'all want to chunk me some gas, you can message me directly. I'm not throwing out that cash app. So if there's a cash app request out there or something, that has nothing to do with me. But if you want to, dollar sign grizzy two eight one. Anyways. So we meet up, we meet up, the, the cops get there, the, the three detectives, wonderful people, really great people. Yesterday, I contacted Quan L because I was reminded of Malia Davis. I was reminded of the Malia Davis because Quan L did wonders with that. I said, Quan L, I called Candace. I said, give me Quan L's number. And I said, Quan L, there's a story that's very fishy. And, and, and can you help us? Because if she's innocent, then we need to prove she's innocent. But we need to prove if, if what's going on with Rudy. So Quanell, you know, he's good people, dude. And he came out, didn't charge nothing like how y'all like to talk and stuff. None of that, friends. None of that. Came out of like all day he's been out here. And and Rudy warmed up to Quanell. You know, Rudy, Rudy's a sweet, sweet, sweet person. He even offered me food. He's like, Are you hungry? Would you like to eat? Like, man, friends. I want to cry because of the stuff that Rudy's been going through, friends. He, he's such a good person, and he's still so nice. Oh my God. So we left the room. Mom was very paranoid. Like, cops were there with mom for a long time, and she wasn't trying to come off of no information. Mom was not trying to deliver any info to nobody. She wanted to get out of there. She wanted to get a room because the media was there. And she's... One thing about Janie is that she's been catfishing, okay? She does not look like her profile pics. I'm about to post videos of her when she's entering the hotel with her son. He apparently couldn't walk, but I think she was directing him to not walk. I think she was staging it, like coercing him. To, to walk like he couldn't walk walk as if he was hurting. She's got him like this, like wrapped around her finger, like really big time, right? So, Quanell gets there. The detectives, they, they were talking, but we weren't really making no breakthrough. Like it wasn't like, I was just outside waiting. I don't know what was asked or nothing. It was when Quanell got there and they were able to, to wedge the two away from each other because mom insisted on being there the entire time. And they're like, no, we got it, we got it, Quanell, like, we got it, you know, and they they, they convinced her to, to step away. By then, an ABC 13 reporter walked in on me and her and, and said, hey, excuse me, she started recording, and I, I, give, her, I give her props for that one, because she snuck both of us, and she's like, hey, hey, the reporter's like this, can you tell us what about your son? Man, friends, so we go to, we the, 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 the missing per persons detectives put mom in, like, the cafeteria of the hotel. And me and her are out there, and I'm talking to my friend uh, Matthew Seedor from Fox 26. I'm like, hey, you know, maybe you can talk to mom. I'm trying to liaison with the media so they can, because I want this story to, to, to be heard. Because we want to know what happened to Rudy. It's it's only fair. Where's been, where has Rudy been these eight years? Everybody wants to know this. So, Quanell was in there with Rudy for uh, and the detective for, for, for an hour and like 20 minutes it was 40 minutes when i went to go get matthew seedorf and bring him in but it was like a, a, about a, an hour and 20 minutes 
in that time, he was confessing these things, these grotesque, horrible, sadistic things that were going on. He's full of cuts from self-harm. Rudy is going through a whole lot of things mentally. He's been, according to him, allegedly, he's been drugged and, and, and a lot of things have been done to him. And also there's been like a claim that his mom was in an inappropriate relationship with him. The mommy daddy scenario, right? So mom, mom is separated, but she's very anxious during this entire time. She, she keeps opening the door on them. And they're like, no, no, we're not ready yet. Hey, calm down. Rudy's okay. She's like, I'm worried about Rudy. I'm worried about Rudy. And, and she asked me to go interrupt and, and open the door and see what was going on. So I pretended like I did. I, I, I wedged myself up against the wall. I went around the corner where she couldn't see me. I opened the door. I opened the door and then I closed it to make it sound like I was checking in, but I was not. I looked at the detective. He was trying to stop me. I'm like, shh, no, 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 no. Shh. And, and, and he understood what I was doing because he could see the anxiety on the, on the Janie lady. Janie wanted him to hurry up and get out of that interview. Well, an hour and 20 minutes passed because I timed it. I have it somewhere in here. Quanell and then we're done. Quanell came out very emotional. He was crying, friends. Quanell was crying for this young man. And this young man opened up to him. He trusts Quanell. He even asked if Quanell could take him with him. He wanted to leave with Quanell and go to his home. Um, unfortunately, after these things were said, all these claims about where he's been and how he's been trapped and, and this inappropriate relationship that he's had to maintain with his mom and all these things, they, they placed Janie and they detained her for a brief while, maybe like 15, 20 minutes. She was handcuffed because I saw the marks on her wrist. And, and the next thing we know, they, uh, Janie comes back out unhandcuffed. She's no longer in handcuffs. And she's saying, well, the DA, they need to figure out what the DA was going to say. And that's when she got to go back into the room with her son. Friends, the DA has not moved on this. And, and, and they're still deciding what they're going to charge her with, if there are any charges. She got to be back into the room with him. And when I walked in, they were in the room together. I was like, oh, man, why do they got... And I went back out there. I said, why do they have her with the victim? And it, like, they, they can't... She's not charged with anything, so she can still be around him, right? So... I, I overheard where she was telling me she I, I, she was telling me that they were co coercing that that all of a sudden Rudy told her that they were forcing him to say stuff and that's not true that's not true she wanted Rudy to recant and say that 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 he lied and stuff like that and that's when they separated them once again but at the end of the day right now what's what's holding up everything is if the DA is going to file some charges or. It, it, it's all on the DA. It's not on the detectives. It's not on HPD. It's not on nobody. It's all depending on the, the DA. We're waiting for the DA. The cops left and she was going to get a room with her son. I mean, after all these shocking revelations are made, a young lady showed up and the family showed up. He smiled, friends, when his family showed up. His family, like long lost family members that he has not seen in eight years plus, they showed up and he, he was, he's been like this all day in, in a blanket with a blanket over him in a hot, that, that, that hotel where we were at, they were not ready to have us there. The AC was bad friends. It was like hot. Like all my makeup is melted. My hair is melted. I don't care. We were all sweating in there. And this poor baby, he's covered up with a sheet and crying and rocking himself. I think that that was all part of whatever she asked him to do. I think it was all a ruse. Because once Quanell stepped in, he was comfortable. They discussed cars. He likes the 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 uh, the Porsche brand. Like Quanell asked him, "What kind of cars do you like?" He's like, "I like the Porsche, the Pan Pan uh, Panamera, whatever the, those cars." And he's like, "Oh, okay. Well, I got a G wagon outside." And you know, they that's the video that you guys saw when Quanell, you know, just try to break the ice with him. And and friends, it, it's so sad that that this lady gets to take him knowing what we kind of heard now from from Quanell, the revelations that were revealed today it's very disturbing to know that she gets to take him 
And, and yes, a lot of people are like, he's 25, he can leave. But he's been conditioned already, friends. Yes, he's 25, but he's a victim. He's 25 years old and, and, and he's, he's, he's been, he's been through some stuff. He's not going to be able to leave. That's like the, 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 what is it? The Stockholm syndrome, something like that. I can't describe it. And, and even when his family who hasn't seen him for years, when they came into the room, he lifted his face and he went, he smiled for a brief second and then his mom got hysterical because she's angry that his family's there. And, and he put his head back down and then he told her, he's like, can't we just, can't you just calm down? Like he tried to reason with her, right? The, the, the son, all of a sudden he's talking just fine. All of a sudden he's talking just fine. He offered us food that somebody had bought along and, and he gave me a hug and he's such a sweet person, friends. Y'all pray for, for young Rudy. He's been through some things. We don't know what all, but Quanell got a good look at him. He's got scars on him. Um, you know, self-harm possibly. I don't know. Um, the bottoms of his feet are bad. Um, he's kind of like, like he's been out in the sun a lot. I do believe that she's known where he's been all this time. I do believe that he's been living un in the, under that roof. We were supposed to go out there today, but she was so afraid of the cameras because of all the fake pictures of herself that she's posted, she didn't want people to see how she really looks. She's she's really like created all these fake Facebook profiles. Yesterday, KPRC made a, a an announcement. Yesterday, KPRC did a a um an article and they posted some somebody at a at a restaurant and that wasn't Rudy. And I posted. I said, "Hey KPRC, can y'all take that down? I made a public post last night." And I asked KPRC to take it down because that young man is named Raul. That is not who we saw out there today. And I'm going to post a picture of him so y'all can get that. All these pictures that y'all got floating around that's supposed to be Rudy, that's not Rudy at all. I've been knowing this for some days now, but I have to be quiet because I'm trying to find out the whole picture and not just a, a clout chasing crumb. I'm not going to do that. If I'm going to bring it to you, I'm going to bring it to you on a platter friends i'm not gonna bring you no half-ass shit i'm not gonna go knock on some neighbor's door no we're gonna get the whole freaking truth and that's why i wanted quanell out there today because quanell will get the truth he will get the truth he's good like that man i know a lot of y'all don't care and don't like him but look what happened today a whole bunch of truth was revealed it's like <laughs> seeing so he left with his mom he left with his mom a, a lot of people are like why why i cannot victim shame I don't know. He's in the victim mindset. He's he's being manipulated or we can speculate on all these things, but he's still a victim, friends. He's he's still he like think about it. it's it's still his mom. As sordid and twisted as that relationship is, it's still his mom. He still loves his mother. Man, friends. Somebody says Gabriel Rudy. I don't know. I don't know what y'all are talking about, friends. Y'all like these pages have dedicated like all day long to post every picture of her look up every catfish i don't know how y'all can keep up with that i'm not fanatic i'm not fanatical like that even my name got bought up some chick uh christelle bastida um is mad because like somebody mentioned that they saw me take down that post about kprc putting that picture of somebody else on there and i said no that's not rudy that's raul uh, uh raul's a homeless guy that showed up at a restaurant his family goes and feeds him he does he's got mental health issues uh, and, and, and he's on the streets and they can't get him back home. They can get him home, but he'll leave again and again and again. That happens a lot in the mental health, um, arena, you know, and, and, and that kind of, uh, situation. So a lot of people have loved ones that they would love to have under their roof, but unfortunately you can't tie someone down, especially an adult. Like they want their free will. So yeah, they posted that they took it down, but this Christelle lady, started talking so much mess every opportunity she gets she dogs me out she's supposed to be an hcc professor or whatever i don't know it, it's just it, it really i think it's really funny the bitches that really like to hate on me i, I got the ones with the degrees friends it's, it's the funniest shit they're so mad because i don't need that in order to thrive and be good at what i do man they get so mad friends but it's okay kprc took down the post that was not rudy all these sightings of rudy that's not been rudy now, the neighbors' claims, yeah, I would say that, I mean, I believe it. I believe the neighbors. 
I believe the neighbors, friends. Y'all pray for Rudy, though. Let's not lose track that Rudy is a victim. He is so sweet. Rudy is so sweet. And he does not deserve, man, like eight years and you're, you're doing stuff that, man, have y'all seen his mom? He didn't want to do all that, friends. That's sad, man, because this, this, this kind of story puts a damper on the real missing person stuff. Like it really does. It, it, it's a hindrance to real missing people situations. Now, why she's invented this for the last eight years. A lot of you guys are speculating financial beneficiary stuff, uh, money, uh, uh, financial stuff. I don't know, but it takes a lot to lie. The truth is, uh, the truth is so much better. And I hope we get to the bottom of all of it. And I hope that Rudy stays strong and tells the truth, you know, c continues to speak because right now his mom has him and she can control him. She's, he, she's got him controlled. So I'm about to put out some video clips. I might put out some conversation clips too. It's not like when, when you hear this woman talking, you, you don't, you don't hear a woman that's happy and praising God that her son's been found after eight years. She's more like, Oh my God, lifetime Netflix reached out the daily mail. Like she's, she's more in the shock of how big the story got. And she wants to know why, but she doesn't understand as a real situation like she's not it's not authentic it's not authentic yep y'all pray y'all pray for rudy though let's not lose track and i hope that whatever it comes to be i know that he was speaking with his heart when he talked to quanell i know he told the truth and i hope he doesn't back back from it like a crab you know walk backwards and i hope that the truth and whoever has him that they encourage him to speak the truth because right now he's back with his mother. He's back with his mom. And that's not a safe place. That's not. That's one filled with manipulation. It's it's a, it's it's not good. It's not good, friends. Yeah. Yep. No charges for mom yet. She's she's going to work tonight. She wanted somebody to babysit him. He's 24, 25 years old. And I, I almost volunteered if she would have got the room, but man friends this it's a weird situation like they shouldn't even be together right now and he couldn't leave with his family his other family that loves him because she's all like hostile and i even cut in i say hey leave them alone let let him talk to sasha his cousin let him talk to, to sasha they're still family janie they're still family i was telling her that i said let them let them let them be reunited whatever problems you got with them you should be happy they're talking she, she's all concerned about herself and how she looks. She's very concerned with herself and how she looks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kimberly. Yeah, yeah. It, it Like, wait till... I'm, I got a lot of material. I got four days worth. So wait, I got hours. I got hours. This shit's crazy, friends. This shit is so fucking crazy. Yep. Yep. She goes to work today. She wasn't because she, at first, the, the I think this is a neighbor. This isn't her niece. This is like adopted, like play family. The real family don't want to mess with her because of all the craziness that's going on. But yeah, we're going to, we're, we'll we're going to hear more. There are mental health conditions or neurological disorders. Or, or, there are no, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, friends. She's been, according to him, he's been on drugs all this time and on stuff under the influence and just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you got to go back to the Quanell uh, press conference. But yeah, thank you, Quanell. If you see this, I don't know if you will. You, uh, he, Quanell, like he was there for hours. He usually leaves the scene right away, but he stayed, man. He stayed because he cares about Rudy. And, and unfortunately, we, we don't know where Rudy could go or what. He's an adult. But he went back with his mom because that's all he knows as a victim, friends. The Stockholm Syndrome, look it up. It's real. Yeah. 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 And, and at the, I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad that Rudy, you know, it, like when they were leaving, I thought he was leaving with a neighbor, right? I thought he was leaving with somebody else. His mom jumped in and they drove off. I was like, what? Oh, man. Yeah. They drove off. And mom did not pay the tab to the hotel either. 
they used the conference room all that time. I, I guess it was a charge. There was a fee. And they didn't pay it. Mm -mm. Yeah. And, and, and let me tell you this. When they pulled up to the doctors, like the, 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 the Northeast, um, Herman Memorial, Herman Northeast, when they pulled up to the parking lot, I, I was already parked. I saw her car behind me. We were on the phone. I said, Oh, that's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at this, this, the, the rear view mirror. And I could see Rudy sitting up in the back seat. So mom was driving like a chauffeur. Rudy was here in, in her car. She drives a Kia Forte. Rudy was in this car sitting up like a good kid, like just sitting there still. And she parked. And when I got out to meet them, when I got out to meet them, he was laying down with a, 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 a blanket over him. And I was like, that's weird. He was just sitting up. And I just make observations. I didn't say nothing. When I looked inside the, the because the, the window was rolled up and I just saw him, I said, oh my God, that's him. Like I'd never seen Rudy until that day in person. I'd never seen Rudy. And I'm looking in the window. I feel like I feel like I was looking at a newborn baby through the glass at a hospital. And I'm looking like that. And I said, that's Rudy. I'm like, oh, my God, he's so big. He had just got a haircut. And she had just bought him shoes. He has not had shoes. She just had bought him shoes today. She made an excuse because we were supposed to meet at 730. And she said he soiled himself. She said all these things. And come to think of it, no, she was stalling. She overslept, too. She said she overslept. But the the she was late to all these things. And she said, well, I changed the appointment to 11. She, man, friends, it's just been one thing after another, like one lie after another, after another. One thing I noticed, though, when I was looking down at, at Rudy from outside, standing over the car and looking in the back back window, Rudy was vaping. And I was like, wait a minute, you've been missing for eight years and, and you're vaping right now? It just, it like, I'm not saying that he it's not possible that he could be, uh, uh, you know, vaping before he went missing or something. I don't know. But I just thought that detail was so weird. I was like, he was vaping. I was like, if he's if he's catatonic and rocking himself back and forth and curled up in the ball and crying and all these things, like like that that stress relief. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was so odd to see him vaping. He had it like this. He's like, and, and he put it down. Like when I looked over, I said, he's vaping. It was a a green purple psychedelic looking vape, uh, vape pen like a like a little. Like a little, it looked like a little square with a little thing on it, the pitito. Yeah. Somebody says, is he special needs? I asked mother and she said, no. Somebody, somebody just asked the question um, that, yeah, he was never missing. I don't think he was. We, maybe. He said he went missing for two days and then came home and then she had conditions on him because she was already like making go on me maybe. I don't know. I don't know that part. But he was missing for two days. But he's not been missing eight years. No, 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 no. And now we're waiting for DA. We are waiting for the DA. It is all fishy, friends. But what I'm telling you is from what I saw, from what I heard, which I do have receipts for a lot of it. And I'm going to put that out. I'm going to put it out in pieces, friends, because it's like all day long we've had updates, news updates, traffic updates, stuff, and I can't even get to it. I'm so sorry. Consider hood news, Rudy news right now. It's going to be all Rudy news. Yeah, the math ain't mathin. Yeah. Where's the dad? I don't know. I think he passed away. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. She did not want him to speak. Nope. Somebody said, what is Quanell's official involvement? I got him involved. I called him. I said, hey, I got the screenshots too. I said, Candace, can you get me in contact with, I asked Candace for his number. Because I don't save numbers. I had it already a long time ago. But I got this old phone that I updated to this phone that I'm on right now. This old phone has Quanell's number, but not this one. So I just I just asked Candace to get it to me. And she got it to me. And I said, look, there's a situation of the young man. I don't know. Have you heard about it on the news? There's a young man. He's been missing eight years. Something's not right. Maybe you can assist. If the mom is innocent, then let's clear her name. But if something else is going on, we need to know too. And and he was on board. He was on board. Yeah. Somebody says, Ginger says you're in on it. Oh, man. Ginger is crazy, friends. She's She was crying and making it about herself and whatever she's got going on. I don't even, I don't have energy for Ginger, dude. She attached herself to the situation, showed up with food. I know she means well, 
but she's ginger is like we ain't got time for ginger i'm worried about rudy and ginger is still gonna make it about herself dude i think she's got narcissistic um tendencies and i don't have time for a narcissist yeah yeah y'all y'all tell her que se vaya la chingada <laughs> for real friends tell ginger i said because i yelled at her real ugly too man like she shouldn't like why did you plant yourself in this and she's like why are you there i said because they called me from day one yeah and i'm the, like we got the media out there friends because the the live video everybody was uh they were googling the 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 hotels and matching the carpet i found out from a little birdie that a lot of the news stations when i went live earlier they they googled hotels in the humble and they started going through the pictures and they found that matching carpet <laughs> Woo. yeah yeah somebody says how are you involved mom called me mom called me mom wanted help that's how i got involved i don't want to i didn't want to be involved have y'all seen me post about rudy all this time all i did was post that one and then all i did was post the one yesterday but i took it down because of all those fake profiles how was i involved janie called me janie called me that's how i got involved and it, and ginger is on this live oh lord hold on we gotta get ginger out of here can y'all tag her Where's that comment thread? I, she's got to go, dude. She's toxic. She's toxic. And she can't even apologize, dude. She's trying to drag me in the shit, too. Pobrecita. Where's she at? Hold on, friends. I'm looking. Somebody said, ma'am, I'll keep my comments to myself. Yeah, yeah. Where's the ginger lady? Hold on. I can't find it. I am ginger. Is she for real? Is that the one? Está loca la way. Hold on. Is that the one, friends, or she's just being funny? Because I'm a blocker for being funny. We ain't got time. And she's gonna make another fake profile and another one. I'll, I'll get, I'll get her out of there. I ain't got time right now. Ginger can stay. I don't care. Ginger and Grizzly, uh, Janie and Grizzly being best friends. Oh Lord. Oh, hold on. And then, and then you know the the sad part is that Ginger is losing focus on Rudy, and she's disrespecting like that, dude. Like, bitch, get away. Go away. Like, you are so disrespectful, and you cried and talked about your own victimization and weird stuff when we're out there, like, being adults looking out for Rudy. Like, she's crying for her own shit. Yeah. I am for... I'm on it. Go, go... Y'all y'all go troll the shit out of her. Hold on. <laughs> no, don't do that. Ban Grizzy. Uh, ban Ginger from all live streams. Boom. That's it. Confirm. Ginger Bellamy all right we got it all right <sighs> is rudy safe we don't know we don't know his mom's with him you tell me his his mom mommy daddy situation is going on you tell me is he safe i don't think so mm -mm. i'm worried that she's gonna try to shut him up in a more permanent way that's what i'm worried about and ginger's making it about herself yep how is she involved at all anyways who ginger she just showed up friends she showed up she did the same thing look at the carpet on my live and showed up with food and all this shit which we're thankful for because rudy ate mm -hmm. is the district attorney picking up charges no because mom got to, to mom got to leave with her son who stated that they were doing inappropriate things that he was not missing that he's been living there the entire time he's self-harmed all kinds of stuff yeah yeah i don't know nikisha nikisha hey what's up friend i see you she blocked her yeah good yeah she can go talk about me on that speculation page friends i ain't got time well i'm gonna let y'all go i love you so much hood news is out the door don't contact me about nothing else this shit is this this story is so crazy and at the end of the day she still got to keep rudy like that's that's what's a slap in the face to all of us out there media everybody like damn rudy rudy rudy's out there with her now if these things are true what he stated to quanell and what he stated to the detectives if this is all true then this is really messed up that they're together right now friends they're together right now hmm. i heard ginger telling you she was for meds with janie what hmm yeah 
if Ginger keeps persisting, I, I, I got attorney letters for her too. I, I got an official cease and desist, man. Hey, Ali Booker's on it. All right, friends, I love y'all. I gotta go. Um, say what you want to say about me, but don't lie. Just don't lie. Don't lie. That's it. You can call me every bitch in the book. I'm cool with it. Do not lie on me because I will go in. Uh, you better have those receipts too, because I got video of me telling Ginger to back away from the from the car. Mm, mm -mm. Yep. Thank you, friends. Yeah. But isn't he over 21? He can choose to leave. Friends, one more time. One more time for my girl, man. If you're a victim, if you're a victim and it's your mother or your father or somebody that you really trust and they've already conditioned you for so long, you don't know how to leave. You don't know how to tell on them. You don't know how to speak up for yourself. If they say, let's go, you're going to go with them. He's a victim, friends. Everybody's saying, oh, he's over 25 years old or over 21. He can leave. He 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 loves his mom. He doesn't want to like he's torn between getting away from her and doing the, the and, and still being there because he loves her. That's his mom. And then the other relationship. Oh, man, friends, it's messed up. Rudy is a victim in all of this. It's messed up. Yep. Yeah, but something can get done. Yes, I agree. Yeah, friends. Yep. All right, friends. I'm going to let y'all go. I love you. Can y'all check Ginger? You know, please look out for your girl. Because I, I can't. I, I don't have time for Ginger today. Mira. <laughs> oh, my God. Woo. Man. Yes. He's been groomed. Yes. Yes. If you know about grooming, please, pr please, can y'all share this stuff? This is critical information, Maria. Maria says, I tried to tell people I called the detective 2018, 2009. Nobody listened. Yep. That's all he knows. That's right, Kendra. That's right, friend. And I understand people's questions. Like, why doesn't he? I totally understand. He, he He's torn. He's He's been conditioned already to believe mommy. She, she She's the one that told him to, to pretend like he didn't want her to leave the room. Like, he would grab her ankles. Remember, I said that earlier in the live. I said he keeps grabbing his mom's ankles like he doesn't want her to leave. I got video of him on the floor and he's just rocking himself like it was all part of what she instructed him to do. I got to go. Yeah. All right, friends. Love y'all.